So, hi together. Today I get my used uh, Robomaster S1 from DJI and it has a problem that it is not driving and the turn is working and if you connect it with the app you see much errors that nothing works. So, for demonstration, so we can just turn it on. Besides, I'm not the big fan of this weapon, but for my purpose, I think I will disarm this vehicle and <coughs> useful stuff. At first, there you see this red blinking. This shouldn't be. And there you see that nothing works. It's saying zero percentage charge. And uh, so, yeah, nothing change where does I drive for 800 meters I don't know but yeah this is what it's saying and now we got somehow to repair it and uh, for this we first turn it off uh, as you may know the communication for all the components on this vehicle is the, used by a CAN bus CAN bus is an uh, industrial com old industrial communication bus used in the automotive industry quite often for connecting different sensors and actors in a vehicle and uh, uh, this the physics of this bus is something like an RS485 with some uh, special use cases but yeah and the one thing you have to know is that you have to terminate the bus on both ends to prevent some data telegram reflection disturption and so on. So if you think about it, I just uh, show you a small scheme. So you're getting so you're getting can high and can low. This is your bus. And there are all your devices, your microcontrollers and so on and you have to terminate it the simplest way is to, to insert a an, uh, 120 ohms resistance on both ends so in the sum if you measure the resistance it should be around 60 ohms and this is what I do perfectly for debugging it so everything is off now we can start with it. Of the multimeter, I should somehow link the multimeter app. But so we are here in ohm. The leads I got in this way in ohms. The leads works, and uh, this four-pin plug on the device here. So let's drive back. So you got in here this uh, four pin connection which is used through all the gateways. So you got in here your intelligent controller which is going through the gimbal. There are some hit sensors going down to this main uh, motion kinematics module which connects over the RS485 bus the motors and also the other hit detectors on the sides and you have to know that the two long pins are the 12 volt power supply and uh, these two are the, the CAN bus and if we measure it we're getting 120 ohms so you can say that on some end the can high or can low is missing. So I think first we start with the bottom and just open it up and see what we're getting here. So behind this plane is nearly nothing in the S1 version, more in the AP but yeah, it's still not available. There was some offer from Banggood, but they cancelled my order, so I don't, cannot show it to you. So, okay, so we open up, 
and there you see the CAN bus going inside the turn or the gimbal. So I just, uh, yeah, maybe we should go somewhere here first. So we're going to the motion controller and there we can start measuring. So all the black are the CAN bars. So we just, we can just remove one and measure it. Still getting this 100. 20 so just remove every canvas so these 120 is somewhere of the on the board because I just removed everything so this side seems to work so let's assume this thing is working and the problem is somewhere here so there is everything still connected so we can uh, check if we're still getting here the 120 ohms and oh yeah i think we got it maybe it's somewhere here there is not that 120 ohms There we're getting, I think it was a P5, a T5, T6, T4, T5. Yeah. Okay. So there I saw some picture that the CAN bus is going uh, to, if you measure this one, so there's zero, so I measure the low pin and to this one, and there's zero, so it is means, so yeah, they are interconnect, and those both are also interconnect, and then there's something. So yeah, this is so the first pin of this small connector here is the left can and this is the right can but it's connected. Okay, now we have to check. So I take uh, the left corner here. Pick. So okay, there we can see that this thing is working properly. So I think I just close it, otherwise I will damage something. The intelligent unit. So we dig the left, the right. So yeah, so this is the second terminator resistant here inside this unit and the other was in the motion controller. So these are the both ends of the CAN bus. So yeah, now we disarmed this thing. Okay, gosh, how we go forward go through the sides no so open this part because I think there are some screws underneath this uh, IR shielded Snap back. Let's see if this is better.
Okay. So you're getting the retain hugs here, front, back, and on the sides. And yeah, there, got it. I know it. There will be some. Well, now we got to wait the warranty. Okay, and now these are open. Okay, that was easy. So we there see the small microcontroller from ST. Then you're getting some cable going down to the I think the motor is underneath and those are the LEDs and this is I think a subject like a microphone here so camera, microphone and some other stuff here then let's look at the other side, yeah, pH zero is quite good. So there you see these four wires going up. There is also the same microphone. It's the same. Style as on the other side. So these are the same PCBs. They are here direct soldered, then you're getting some style here, I think it's the more for the motor side, for the motor, and it's just a replicated part, there is a quite bit of torques, Let's see if I have such a thing, yeah, that's only one. White beefy, so it's a Torx 10. I use my favorite Vera set. Okay, there was some grease for sealing it. Okay. Continue. So there are so also some screws here, here, and here. Those are metal threaded. So I take the two millimeter bit hex. Yeah. Okay, this screw looks also no they're quite identical to the others. Okay, now everything is somehow moving so there is something such a bearing or thumb or distance holder let's keep it so this is the thing and maybe I see the problem so you're getting here on this this big Edmund chip and there you maybe see it or not, but on the 
right side it's more off than on the right on the left side so this is going to the motor this should be the motor control i know this should be the imu and there's some thermal gap as i read on Someone make the cables too short. Okay, let's measure now the resistance. Okay. Okay. Zero. We start from one pin. Now we are in and test the other pin. Yeah. So I think we fixed the issue. It was this loosened uh, part, but it's quite hard to go there. So, yeah. I think I take some photos and then reassemble this whole thing. So after reassembling it and uh, wiring up everything besides the speaker, I can just now measure the volt, the resistance, and now we got our 120 ohms. So now it looks better. So now we could just measure. The resistance and now it should be 60. And as I said before, there are the 60 ohms. Now the canvas is terminated in the right way. So we could turn it on. The first improve, now it's blinking blue, not red anymore. This is quite good. Now we see that now it's not more zero percentage, so, but uh, 85. And if we go to the everything, sh is normal. Okay, let's do the driving.